Okay, ready. Thank you for coming again. Uh, we have in this repository all the documentation, the readme file about the Docker and how you can run item peer from Docker. Okay. In Windows is basically the same. You can run with this simple command and uh, you can run in the first place Postgres. Okay. With this now. And we have a uh, container apps. And here you can see uh, the service running. The Postgres is ready. If you want to check the log, you only need run this common okay logs. This will show you the, the, uh, the log of Postgres. Okay. To run uh, the item pair. Same. If you want to check the log. Okay. Now it's, it's running. It's, it's starting to run setup. Okay. Now it's creating the database. It's very simple. If you come on, you can test item here on Windows. And if you, if you have a Postgres installed locally, okay, you can use this command to run with uh, external DB, okay? Can be Postgres or, or Oracle, no problem. And this command is for Linux. Today, I, I was updated the, the information about the Windows. And you only need to uh, use this symbol for Windows. Now we can create a service uh, connected to my local database. Next. Okay. When you run uh, I appear, that's create the database and today the database and sync. Okay. And the database is running now. I think it's ready. Okay. That's it. Done. It's very, very easy. Now we can check other options of our Docker. We can list and uh, yes. You see the service running, okay. And now I, I, I go to kill and here and um, Postgres. Okay. Now we can try to run that with with my local Postgres. Install here. Okay. Okay, now it's 
running. I have to be very strong. I know the window user. running with my local database okay okay it's running and you can use you have the documentation you can use a uh, docker stack too okay uh, this is for for production environment okay you can use that for production environment. I don't recommend use uh, Windows in production environment. Uh, but if you wanna use, be careful. Uh, okay, let me check. The... Okay, that is ready. Here the command is. Okay. I have screen to show this configuration for my environment. Okay, this is a Docker stack, and this is the image, the volume. Okay, the environment, my IP address, and the parameters for Java. And you have, I wanna, I wanna run the script of migration when the server starts, okay? And I am using a external connection with my plugins and we can run that. Okay, that the compose parts of my docker stuff file and up okay this will create the service and we can check this here too very simple You have an old database, okay? With this, with this parameter, you can upgrade your database. Uh, this will, this will run the migration scripts, okay? And you can use also in the in the common line, no problem. For the other options, you can use here in this common. Okay, now we have a service running. Done. It's the same for, for Linux and for, for Windows, for Mac, okay? You don't need to uh, make anything different, just the symbol of the symbol for, for, for Windows, but no, no, no more difference. Okay. The running and the database is updated. If you want to install uh, a plugin, you can use the Felix console, or you can use Telnet. 
Okay. If you want to copy any files to the Docker container, you can open another another session terminal. Okay, CMD. And you can use this command. Copy the the um, some plugins. Okay, I will install the the key names of Carlos. Okay, done and. As you see in my in my file, I have a path of my plugins in this address, and you can use this to install the uh, plugin. Okay. Is this? Okay. It's done. Now we can check the plugin. Here, say name. Sorry. Okay, you can see the plugin here. And that is, is all. If you have some question, uh, we can answer in Mademos. Thank you for coming today.